today we are continuing with the neon tropical vibe for the summer. I know a lot of us are vacationing or you're going out these summer nights and you want something bright but neutral for these events. So this is definitely a little bit bolder than my last look, but I feel like it's still very wearable. You can keep it just on the eyelids if you don't want to blow it up so far. I love the turnout of this look and the ability to switch out the lips, whether you want a matte lip, a bright lip, or a neutral lip, or maybe a juicy lip. This is definitely a look that can cater to any range of lip options. So today I'm using a couple of new items from the Boxy Lux box. I feel like I'm not going to do a video on Boxy Lux because it was mostly skincare for me and then like two or three products of makeup. So I will be doing a first impression on these products and also telling you how I feel after shaving my face for the first time ever and applying makeup. So if you would like to recreate this tropical, glossy, glowy look for summer nights, vacation, make sure to keep on watching. All right guys, I already prepped and primed the eye. Today we're going to go in with a bronzer or anything to kind of lay down that background color without it being too intense so it does not interfere with our halo bright eye that we're going to do. I'm going to be trying out the Tarte Pro Glow palette. This came in the Boxy Lux, and I've never really tried their face products so I'm very interested. I do like the design of the palette. It looks like it's very nice quality and it has two mirrors so that is nice and convenient. So I'm going to be going in with the bronzer shade Autograph. I'm going to lay it down all over the crease. Next I'm going to go in with 100 Care Cosmetics pigments but if you have any eyeshadows or you want to work with loose pigment just make sure that you have your base and then something for them to adhere to. I'm gonna go in with the Colourpop Super Shock eyeshadow instead of going in with a stickier base because I want this color to be the main focus and I'm gonna go in with the pigments just to add different accents so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a synthetic brush so I do want to start in the inner corner and kind of start shaping where I want the product to go. I'm gonna frame this almost like I would a cut crease. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it a little bit higher and rounder. So I'm working from the inner corner of the eye all the way to where I want that color to be visible. So I like to raise it a little bit higher so where I look straight, you can still see my definition. And I'm gonna take it on the outer corner and kind of round it out as well. Almost like we're doing a cut crease, just kind of fading it inward. I'm gonna go in with a bluer pigment as this one's kind of like a turquoise shade and we're gonna work our way to the green accent. Just wanna grab very little on my brush. We're just gonna work it in the inner part. Just gonna give it a brighter pop than what we already had. Next, I'm gonna go in with Island. This is like a gold green color, and I'm gonna put it in the inner part of the halo. And with that same brush, working my way to that center. And I wanna leave a gap in the center, so I'm just kinda tapping and merging the two colors together. Alright, so pretty much before we blend out the colors on the outer edge, you're gonna go in with a brighter highlight. I'm gonna go ahead and try this one in the middle and then I'm gonna go in with a whiter tone. Next in the center, I want it like a silvery white. I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow in Confetti. You can choose to leave it bold or you can go in with that same bronzer shade and kind of blend out the edges. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend around it.
so let's go ahead and finish off the bottom of the eye. I don't want to do anything too dramatic, so I'm just going to go back in with that bronzer color. All right, so we're going to go all the way, and we're going to go in with a colorful liner for the inner waterline. I really want to play off the turquoise color, so I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Fruiteal Color Pencil. I'm going to go ahead and take some of the sky blue pigment and work it into the liner. We're going to go ahead and take chartreuse and put it in the inner corner, but you could go in with your favorite highlighter. Alright guys, that wraps up the look. I really enjoy the halo eye with the bold inner corner. I still feel like this is a very wearable look for this summer tropical season. I really enjoy some of the new products that I am using. So there are a couple new products that I am using from the Boxy Lux box. It's kind of like the first impression. So for me, I had never used the Tarte face palette and I feel like this one is a nice concept. It has highlighters, bronzers, contour. I'm not sure if these come with medium, light, and dark recommendations, but I feel like my bronzer slash contour is a bit red for my liking. It still works for me, but I feel like if they had maybe like light, medium, and dark option, I could maybe look into a lighter shade. But I feel like overall it looks fine. So I do enjoy this palette that it has a little bit of everything on the go for you. So this was nice. This is the first time that I use the No Problem Prime Essence. I'm not sure what this is or how to properly use it because usually I use their primer and I I really like it. It's lightweight and it's nice. This one felt more like a moisturizer slash serum, so maybe that is the whole concept. I did use it today for the first time underneath my foundation, and I feel like I look pretty fresh. No irritation happening from this product. I'm definitely going to continue to use this to see if I love it or hate it or what my emotions are after continuous use, but right now I am really enjoying the turnout. Lastly, this Trustique 2-in-1 eyelash curler. Honestly, eyelash curlers like this for me, like don't cut it, I, I don't like them. It's a cool concept if you are not super picky about your eyelash curlers and you want one on the go, this is cool. Overall, the mascara right now is not really doing anything for me. I did it on my bottom lashes and it kind of clumped really quickly. So I definitely have to continue to use it with my own personal lash technique. See if this is really worth the the money for me because I'm very particular when it comes to mascara. So this is the first time that I officially put makeup on after shaving my face, which will be coming at you really soon. Go ahead and check it out. I can definitely say that my makeup looks a lot smoother, but the weird thing is that like I've used all my brushes like several times and I feel like I could feel everything on my brushes, like every single bristle. And I realized that brushes that I felt like were soft weren't all that soft after shaving my face. So that's definitely a big difference that I feel in as far as makeup application. But I feel like the overall effect is totally worth it. This is my day three after shaving. So I will definitely continue to give you the one week all the way to four week process and to see how long it takes for it to come back. How is it coming back? And just my personal experience just kind of leading you through that because I am brunette and I do not get blonde hair. So definitely that is a big concern for people when it comes to doing this particular procedure. Make sure to follow me on all my social media, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. I will definitely be on there a lot more because I am going to get my eyebrows microbladed this upcoming week. So definitely make sure that you are following me there. Also, since you're here, make sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you can know every single time that I upload. Like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.